What's up guys and welcome back to Thief Simulator. We're back baby and before we get started I just want to say thank you guys so much for the support on this series. You guys are really loving it. I am too. I appreciate all the nice comments and the, the likes and everything like that. Just I appreciate you guys. But anyway today we are going to be getting into a new skill and this actually looks pretty interesting. So it's going to be called Appraisal Level 2 Disassemble Jewelry with special tools. So we're gonna go ahead and learn this and see what that means. Maybe 107 don't like our protection plan. I hope nothing happens to the jewelry in their bedroom. Huh. All right. Almost feels like a, a thief might have to go and take care of that. So uh, Greenview 107, we're gonna check our forums here. The Wilsons. I'm going to go ahead and buy some of this info. There's no one home from 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. There's a lot of cash next to the front door. All right. Sounds good to me. So I'm going to say let's go ahead and hop on the couch. We're going to wait till 7 a.m. We're going to get there right before everybody leaves. And uh, we're going to kind of like get in the, the front like area, be able to, you know, kind of figure out our, our plan and hop inside as soon as they leave. So let's see. Uh... Let's see what we can do here. We're going to go in. We're going to get the cash by the front door. We're going to get the jewelry in the bedroom. And we're uh, going to break it down, chop it up, and sell it for more, hopefully. We'll, we'll see how that all works out. All right, here we go. So 107. Have we been to 107 yet? I think we've been to pretty much every house in the hood. We haven't really spent a lot of time on the, the richer houses here, but... Yeah, 107 right here. Okay. We can do this. We got a parking lot right across the street so we can look all nice and innocent. Looks good to me, and here we go. All right, so there's one guy home right now, but he's going to be getting ready to leave any minute now. I'm looking for an area of entry into this house, looking for, like, any sort of... Um, any sort of window or ledge we can climb, anything we can use to get in. I'm not seeing much. We might we might just have to end up popping the lock with our electric lock pick. All right, so he just left. Mark, see you later, bro. And here we go. All right. Was that Mark as in that was his actual name, or is that like Mark as in like that's our mark, like that's our target? Boom. So we've got that. Can we just go ahead and walk in the front door with this electric lock pick? Yes, we can. Let's go, boys. It's a, a handy little tool that we got recently. All right, so we know we have until 11 a.m. Oh, wow. We know we have until 11 a.m. to take whatever we want out of here. So we got to be quick. Oh, 150, bro? Are you serious right now? So one thing that we haven't really been using. Oh, my gosh, dude. We've got a cell phone. More routers over here. One thing we haven't really been using is uh, there's a storage, like a storage box in our car that we can use. So we could hit this place, run out, dump all the small things in that storage box, and then come back in. So that's kind of my, my plan here. So we'll see, see what we can find. 11 a.m. is going to come quickly, though, dude. That's the problem. So we just... I don't know if we're going to be able to take everything. Oh, yes, dude. They got, like, 50 stacks hanging around, dude. That's nuts. But, yeah, see, like, we can we can take these. Dude, there's so much to check. Ooh, what is this? USB flash. Somebody just almost saw us trespassing there. That's not good. I feel like there's never anything in these these big ones. At least not anything useful. So let's let's take another quick look around here. Got that. Can't check any of those. Inventory is full. All right. So like, what we're gonna be able to do here? And it's 9:39. We have about an hour left. We're gonna be able to run to our car. Can't open that door. If you get in, you can go to this, and I'm pretty sure. We can transfer all this stuff, leave it in the car, get out, and then run back in and grab more. So that way we can hit more of the houses every time. Right, so we're going to go ahead and close that. Close this. Let's see what else we can grab here. Can't open any of those. All right, we got to head upstairs. we got to be quick, boy. 
Gotta be quick, gotta be quick. Why do these people have so many phones laying around? We'll take this, dude. This is gonna be our best heist yet. This is crazy. Look at all the phones. Take your mouse. Sorry, bro, no PC gaming for you, homie. Heirloom bracelet. Inventory is full on that. Shoot. Dude. This is not good. It's 1030. Somebody's going to be home soon. Let's put this stuff in. We can't carry anything else. Hold on. We're going to get that jewelry. We gotta get that jewelry from the bedroom. I mean, wait, did we? This is the bedroom, right? Where's the jewelry at? There's a small TV in there. Is this the master? Nothing really going on there. Somebody almost saw us, okay. I don't know that we got $300 in jewelry from the bedroom. That's the problem. We're going to get out of here. Somebody's home and gardening. I, I don't see what, like, we, we got that one necklace, but I'm not sure if that's the $300 in jewelry that they're talking about. I'm gone. I'm out. See ya. Yeah, I don't know. We'll we'll see. We'll see if we got what we had to. We got that little necklace, but there's I, I can't see what else they're talking about for jewelry in the bedroom. I didn't even know we had like I, I didn't think we had made it to the master bedroom yet. I that nice of a house, I was expecting a big master bedroom. So maybe we missed it. Maybe we didn't. I have no clue. We'll see what happens here. Okay, we got the bracelet. We got the bracelet they were asking for. Good stuff. Always remember to break down the jewelry. There's a tool for it in the shop. Okay, so we should probably... I'm, I'm, uh, I guess it doesn't matter. Let's just go back to the shop first. And then we'll come back to the pawn shop. And then we might be able to... One thing we haven't been doing is selling things on Black Bay. Because you can make a lot more money on Black Bay. Um, what is this? Jewelry workshop. We need jewelry tools, so we're gonna have to go on the computer here. Gonna have to purchase some jewelry tools. 2600, bro, that's kind of expensive, but I'm down. All right, so we got this. So we're gonna select this heirloom bracelet. Oh. Okay. So we can use this to take out the different gems and sell those individually and maybe we'll make a little bit more money. Okay. A professional knows how to handle a real safe. Are your lock picking skills up to the job? All right, so next up we're going to be learning uh lock picking level 4 which is kind of exciting. I think that's going to allow us to open up holes in windows, which is going to be cool. But first, let's check Black Bay. I want to see um I want to see if there's anything that we can do. Ah, we could sell a router on Black Bay. We could sell a damaged U phone on Black Bay. See, we're getting extra parts for that. You can sell car parts. Can you steal cars in this game? Sell a glass cup. Okay. Ooh. Old Yamaha guitar for 300? Let's go, boys. All right, we're making money there. I was hoping we were going to be able to sell those gems on Black Bay, but let's go ahead and uh, let's go to the pawn shop and see if we could sell those gems individually. I'm assuming they went back in our inventory. Welcome back. We'll see here. We sold the bracelet for 1800 I think that was the gems included. But now we can go in. We can grab all this stuff. Hop back out and look at this just doubled our take Dude, that was our best hit yet. 
Oh, we're already back up to 2K after we had spent that money to be able to, to get those jewelry tools. All right, so next up, we want to learn the lock picking four skills. So we're going to go ahead and learn this. Let's see what that comes with. Open the training safe at home. All right, so we're going to start it back up. We're going to head back home. Dude, we're going to be able to pick safes now too. What? This is so sick. All right, it's so gonna try, oh, we need safe cracking tools. We, I don't know, dude. I feel like those are gonna be kind of expensive. We may need to hit a couple of houses to be able to unlock those. Safe cracking tools, 2,500. We need 500 bucks. We're getting headphones. Dude, that's pretty cool. What else can we get? A glass knife, hacking tools, car lock, pick gun, micro camera, binoculars, hacking PDA, night vision goggles, car key signal cloner and a hacking laptop, dude, this, this is getting crazy. All right, um, I think we, I think we take some rent-a-thug contracts if we can get some expensive ones. We're gonna take both of these and we're gonna go back to 108. Back on the block, boys, and 108 is looking pretty. All right, I think I'm going to, now this is, this is gonna be tough, cause we need to, we need to park the car in a space where we can get away with it, because we've got to steal that painting. So this is this is not going to be good. Here we go. We're going to go ahead and enter through the upstairs window like we've done many a times. But yeah, we want to make sure that we can grab this painting and, and jet out of here as soon as we've got it. I'm going to try to hit whatever else we can while we're here too. Ooh, there's a safe. We could totally hit that dude. We could hit that if we had the tools. That's what we're trying to earn here, though. All right, there's nothing in there. Now, we've already hit this house a few times. I'm not sure how this game works. I don't know if you can... I don't know if stuff will respawn or what. This daisy painting is what it wanted us to come get. That's interesting. That's doesn't strike me as something very valuable, but... We'll take it nonetheless. Cup there, alarm clock, inventory's full, can't put that in the bag. Well, that's not what I intended to do. I was going to hop out and run to my car, throw some stuff in there, go back in and get the globe and everything, but it's fine. This is a small painting we just put on our person, so I'm just gonna run out of here. And, uh, <laughs> I guess that passerby was just walking down the street and saw somebody in all black and black gloves just drop out of somebody's second story window. I'd probably be pretty concerned about that too. All right, so we're gonna go to the pawn shop. We're not gonna get a very good thief rating for that one because we got caught, but we did hit both of our marks. So we're gonna go Welcome in here. Back. We're gonna sell all this. None of that was really worth much, but it did give us that 600 bucks we need for the safe cracking tool, so who knows. Maybe we need to go back to that house and crack his safe as soon as we can and get the other stuff we missed, including that, that globe, but here we go. We're gonna go back to the house, back to the casa. Gotta buy those safe cracking tools up here. We're gonna have to get that glass cutter too, dude. All right, uh, safe cracking tools. That glass knife, dude. We need $2,500, though. Hopefully, the safe is going to help us out with that. Hopefully, people have got some good stuff. Hold the rotate direction shown by the arrows until the tone of sound changes. Then carefully press the proper direction until the combination is accepted. After that, start rotating the opposite direction. So, we know the... The first number is 38. And then we want to go left. And then we want to go right. 38, 45. Okay, I got you. You just got to be safe about it. You can't be going too fast. Got it. She's open. An important document gone missing from Mr. Lombardi's desk. I've got a feeling it's in Greenview 102. Be a good debt slave and check it out for me. 
Now, I don't like being called a debt slave, but uh, Greenview 102, here we come. And actually, hold on, let's make sure if there's any rent-a-thug contract, because we're gonna be needing money, dude. We, we need to be grinding here. I wanna make sure that 102 doesn't have anything, and it doesn't. Dude, 105, 106, 107, lots of them here. But, uh, yeah. Greenview 102, here we come. All right, guys, Greenview 102 is going to be on our left up here. It's right at the end of the street, which makes it nice because you can just kind of hit it and run. Um, let's see. Looks like both of them are about to leave. One of them actually already just left, and then I think the girl is about to leave here in a minute. Probably going to end up... Uh, I don't think we really have any other choice. We don't have a glass knife to be able to do this. I think we're going to end up um, popping the front door lock as soon as she leaves, and we should be good. There she goes. All right, good stuff. So we're going to go ahead and open this bad boy up. We need a front door key. How are we going to get into this house? Unless... They put down shutters when they leave? Bro, how do we get in the house? I was gonna say we could just pop the window. What? Oh, no, that's just like a little planner. We could just pop the window, hop in and, and grab it real quick, but that's not gonna work. We might need to go purchase some hints unless they have... They have like a hidden key in the mailbox or something? Or a hidden key by the front door? Dude, they are like Fort Knox out here. I don't know what to do. We might need the glass cracking things first. But that's not even really gonna... Well, I guess we could do it when they're home. They, I can't believe they put all the shutters down as soon as they leave. This is not good. We need some more money, boys. We need a, uh, quite a bit more money to be able to, to buy this glass pick thing. Otherwise, I don't know that we're going to be able to get into that house unless we somehow found a way to sneak in the door as they were closing it, which I don't think is going to happen. Especially if they're that serious and they, like, lock down the shutters every time they leave and stuff. So we're, we're going to see what we can do here. Got to be very careful. We've actually got an open window back here which is like the biggest mistake ever okay so we want to break their sink and their dishes and we know that they have a pricey painting and we've got this i'm hoping they can't hear this got it oh my god I didn't mean to close it. Bro. Bro. I didn't think that safes were gonna have that much money in them. I figured they'd have money, but not that much. All right. We're gonna take this hard drive. I hate it when I accidentally don't close it slowly. Okay. All right. We gotta find their toilet, the pricey painting, and their sink. Or their, their dishes in their sink, I mean. And they're home, by the way. I, we for sure know they're home. I'm not sure their other routines. I guess technically they could have left, but there's no way for us to know for sure. Bro, somebody is in this house, and I have no clue where. Okay, we know they've got a pricey painting over here. I'm grabbing this. I don't think we can drop it out the window. I don't think we can move out the window. I would take it and go put it in the car right away. Yeah, we can't. We have to take it out the front door if we're going to take it out. Oh, 
I don't. I have no clue how loud this is. And I, like I said, I think they're home. So, bro, I'm, I'm about to take this painting. I'm going to take it out to the car. We're going to come back and we're going to run in with a crowbar like a maniac. And just drop the sink, drop the dishes. And get the heck out of here. <sighs> Dude, I don't, like... It's, it's one thing when you know they're like either not home or you can like see them because you know their routines. When you don't know their routines and you're just kind of sitting there awkwardly, it is terrifying. So we're going to put this down, open that up, put this in here. The wave, baby. I actually really like that painting. I would totally rock that in the house. I'm going to set this car up so we are ready to jet set boogie, dude. Range Rover going by. So like I said, we know they are for sure home. Well, actually, technically we don't know for sure. I think we just break their stuff and run. I'm going for it. I'm out of here. We're gone. See ya. Put this away. We're gone, dude. I heard some doors opening and closing and stuff. We're out. We got the loot. We we did the the challenge. We're gone, dude. I'm, I'm, I'm not messing with that. I don't want to worry about the cops coming, then we don't end up getting able to, being able to sell this painting. Yada, yada, yada. Whoo, that's a success. I will take that all day. We're going to head straight to the pawn shop, baby. We made so much money off of that safe. Oh my gosh. I'll take it. All right. So let me go ahead and open this up. Forgot you can't open doors while you're holding things. Bro, how much how much you got me for this wave? Welcome back. It better be good. 350 bucks, we'll take it. Alright. I mean it's not our biggest take ever, but that was that was not bad at all. Alright, now I'm gonna head back. I'm gonna say let's go back to that first house we did that we saw the safe in there. And let's get his safe. There's this one down here with the blue roof. I feel bad because we've hit this guy a ton lately. Like, he he just won't stop getting hit. He's always working in his garage and stuff. There are three people home right now. But I'm not too worried about it because we're really just going for this safe. And we got it. Let's see if they've got as much good stuff. Ooh, they've got a camera. USB flash and a bunch of money. Let's go, boys. Dude, these safes are where it's at. All right, we have $1,700 uh, and a, an empty backpack. So I'm gonna see, we need to get up to 2,500 is the problem. I'm just gonna take whatever we can. Unfortunately, those are really gonna kind of fill up our backpack pretty quick. Um, whew, I thought he was coming upstairs. All right, I think we just, Drop out of a back window or something? I don't know. There's nothing in there. A router. Whew. She almost saw us. Alright, we're gonna climb out of this window. Doing something illegal. Nope, we're good. Don't don't worry about me. Don't worry about it. I'm gonna I'm gonna head back up to the car. We're gonna drop this stuff off. We're gonna get back in that house. Cause I, I wanna try to hit the 2500 with this this hit. All right, we're back in here. I'm gonna grab the headphones. Don't really need those shoes. Oh, the globe. I'll take the globe. That fills up most of our, oh, we could take this radio. Most of our backpack, but we'll go for, oh, here we go. No! We gotta grab that guitar. 
All right, we're gonna make one final trip here in a second. Got it. All right, here we go. Let's get out of here. I'm gone. We're out. Hopefully that's gonna be enough. I think it should be. I don't know. We'll see what happens. We need 2,500 for this stupid glass cutter and we're, we're gonna be good to go on the next house. I wanna check, is this one of those guitars we could sell on Black Bay for extra money? Black Bay, um, black and white vase. I'm just gonna check to make sure. Radio. Yeah, no. It's not. We want the Washman guitar or the Taylor guitar are the ones we're looking for. Okay. We sold a couple of things though, not the worst thing in the world. So we're gonna go back, we're gonna go to the, the pawn shop and hopefully we're gonna have enough to get to that 2,500. I don't know that we are. I mean, that's a pretty good guitar. That was 250 bucks right there. I don't think we're gonna have enough, boys. I might need to do one more before we're done. Let's um, go ahead and move all these over. I don't know how valuable those are gonna be. Yeah. Not quite there. We're close. But I'm gonna see you guys once we actually get there. If this isn't nightmare fuel, dude, somebody's sleeping right here. She's like kind of under the covers, kind of like legitimately in the bed. But yeah, that's that's concerning that we could just sit here and watch over her and I don't know. It's kind of a uh, little bit creepy. Anyway, I don't think we can take any of these paintings or anything. Our car's full right now. So I'm just kind of checking over everything on my way out. Want to make sure we don't forget anything important. Like $15 in the dresser. All right, I think we're good. Let's get out of here. I think we got a good take from this house. It's fairly simple. We took like a speaker and stuff like that. But we're going to go ahead and drive out of here. We're going to head back to the pawn shop. And hopefully this is more than enough. How much is the speaker worth, bro? 120 bucks, not bad. All right, so we got all that. We're already up past that 2,500 that we need, but we've got some more stuff in here. Um, so we're gonna move all this stuff over. Looks good. Go ahead and sell these to them. All right, we'll take it. So, back to the cribbo. Let's, uh, let's go buy this glass cutting tool, this glass cutting knife that we've been looking for for a while. I'm, I'm excited for this. So we're gonna go over here, we're gonna get some tools. We're gonna get our glass knife for 2,500. Back on Greenview, baby, we've gotta get these documents. This is what we've been kinda working towards this entire episode. It's been our, our primary goal. Go ahead and park the car on the side of the road over here. Looks good, all right. So I, th I think we need to do this while they're home. Cause otherwise they put down the shutters and everything when they leave. So yeah, we've got a, a lock picking and a glass knife we can use here. Um, nice! I'm not 100% sure what I'm doing, but we did it. All right, hold on. I'm just hoping that this dude's not gonna come in here. Here we go. All right, we gotta start left. Gotta be quick. 86. And now we're just gonna hurry up, go as fast as possible. Don't let this dude catch us, please. They are right there, dude. Money, documents, a vase. Dude, he's right there. I would keep hitting the house, but I don't think it's worth it. Yeah. He, he got up and like heard or saw something. We're out of here, bro. We're gone. We got the documents. We got our new little glass cutting picking tool thing. Whoo! My goodness, bro. We freaking did it. And we got a pretty good vase. All right. Looks good. So, I think that's going to be a good spot to stop. I'm going to head over to the uh, to the pawn shop. We're going to sell this thing off. But uh, 
Lots of exciting stuff happening. We can now crack safes. We just learned how to use that window cracking thing, so we'll uh, we'll have to see what comes up next. I hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, I'm gonna Build see you guys in our next episode. That was a $1,500 vase. Peace out.